Hi again. Today, what are we talking about? Today I'm going to show you kind of the difference between a rotary punch and a handheld punch and hammer. Today I'm going to talk about the difference between the rotary punch, which is this guy, and rubber mallet and sets of metal punches. So the difference, obviously, is this, this is handheld. These come in a lot of different um, shapes and sort of types. This one is a bit of a spring loaded. I was making so many um, punches and, and holes and stuff that my hands were really starting to like hurt by using just like the metal no frills one. It worked, but it was really starting to like hurt my hands. So I got one of these like super squishy, nice like rubber handle. So this is like the Rolls Royce <laughs> for me of rotary punches. Um, and you can see here you have all kinds of different options that you can just snap through. There's six different sizes. Um, it works pretty well. And then this is uh, you can get sets of these, these different punches that range in sizes. So this is just one I think in my set I had about like 10 different sizes down to really tiny to a little bit bigger than this. And what you do is you use a rubber mallet. I always use a rubber mallet when you're punching with these steels. If you use uh, like a ball peen hammer or something with a, um, a steel head, you will dull the edge, the sharp edge of your punch. You might chip whatever you're working on underneath. Just don't, just use the, uh, make sure you use the rubber mallet. And you just, give that a good pop and it's really easy and you get tons of these little confettis so the the I use I use both of these there's different situations where you would use one over the other um, I use this for something if it's kind of in a harder to reach area um, so you take this piece of leather you know this works very well but because of this uh, hinge right here. I can only get that far in about. But what if I need to get in here? I can't, I can't get at that. So that's when these kind of held, handheld single guys come in handy. And you can obviously place this anywhere you want. But um, you're, you're li limited a little bit with this as far as how much of a clearance there that you can get at. So it's good to have both of these. Those are both relatively expensive. You can get a pair of these for, you know, 15 to 25 bucks, depending on the, the style you want. And then you probably already have one of these laying around your house. Most people do. It's a rubber mallet. You can get that at the hardware store for about five bucks. And you can pick up a set of these for, you know, 10 to 25 bucks on Amazon or eBay. Um, and then another tip, you can actually sharpen these. When I got my set, it was a little a little dull. So if you just take this on a stone and you just hold it at an angle and you just rub and just turn that as you rub. And then you can take a little piece of sandpaper and funnel it in there and kind of get the edges. You just want to make this edge sharper. So this needs to be sharpened actually. So that's it. That is the difference between the rotary punch and the hammer and the steel punch. Hope you enjoyed this segment. Um, don't forget to go to leatherbeast.com and subscribe there. Um, I send out all of these videos to my subscribers. Um, so get on the list. Talk to you soon. See you next time.